Welcome back. Now, in order to make the best decisions about your family's future, the first thing you need to do is arm yourself with the right information. And several free seminars coming up are geared towards just that. When it comes to your estate planning and legacy wealth planning, attorneys Kevin Kinghorn and Allison Manning are here to tell us about the benefits of attending one of these. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thank you for inviting us and having us here. And I know I kind of mentioned a little bit about estate planning, but kind of break down what that really means. This State planning is just planning for the future, events that are going to happen in life. So none of us are getting out of here without uh, alive. So we've got to plan for our deaths. We've got to plan for incapacity. There may be other issues. Right. And so that applies for older people, for young people, even young couples with small kids. If something were to happen, planning for those children and what happens and who cares for them. That's all part of that estate planning process that's important for everybody. So when we're talking about an estate, Kind of really break down what that means exactly. So an estate includes everything you own. It includes your real property, includes your personal property. It includes uh, your, your values, your legacies, your, the non-valued um, assets that people sometimes forget and they don't plan for passing that information down. So it's everything that you own. Um, and it's stuff that we would like to give to our, our beneficiaries, our children, or maybe to charities, and we want to make sure that that goes to people that we want it to go to. And while we're alive, if we're unable to take care of it, we want to make sure that someone's able to step in and, and handle those assets for us. And Kevin, you kind of hit a little bit on who, the, who should be looking into this. You said it, you know, it should be everyone from young couples with children, but who is the typical person that you guys work with? So most of our clients are retirees or near retirees. That seems to be when we start dealing with our mortality and realizing we're not going to live forever. The reality is that this is something that applies for everybody. And a lot of people, when we talk about estate planning, as Allison mentioned what an estate is, some people think, well, I don't have an estate, I don't have much. Well, when you look at some of the things that are included as part of the estate, things like life insurance. So even younger uh, people, young professionals, a lot of times will have uh, large life insurance policies to help care for their family. Well, that life insurance is part of the estate. Um, retirement assets, things like IRAs or 401ks, a lot of people, oh, I don't consider those. Well, those are all part of the estate, and we have to plan for those things as well. So really, anybody needs some sort of an estate plan. Uh, we do run across and have seen uh, situations even where young college students, so mom and dad have been helping taking care of the, the child as they grow, making medical decisions, but the uh, child leaves to go to college, has a medical problem at college. Mom and dad want to call and find out what's going on and, and uh, talk to the hospital and what's happening. Well, the hospital, once the child turns 18, the hospital says, we can't give you that information. Um, we've had clients even tell us it's so frustrating that, you know, I pay all the bills. I take care of everything. And the hospital says, well, thank you for paying all the bills. Um, but we still won't talk to you, and we can't give you that information. Wow. So, and, and to even shed further light on how important it is to have a plan, Allison, kind of tell us if you don't have an estate plan or a will and you do pass away, what happens? Well, at that point, if you don't have anything in place and you die, um, then the state determines where your assets are going to go, whether or not if you're married, it, it depends if you're married, if you have children, if you have children, if it's a second marriage and there's children from your first marriage, your assets get divided and the state gets to determine that. In addition, the state gets to determine whether what the tax consequences are and you have no control over that. Um, but dealing with death and having nothing in place sometimes is a lot simpler than not having something in place when you're alive and having something happen where you're suffering from some type of incapacity. Maybe it's be Alzheimer's or you were in an accident and something happened and you're unable to make decisions for yourself. And so those are times where you really need to have something in place. Um, and if you don't have something in place, then your family is going to head down to court and have to get some type of a, a guardianship or conservatorship in place. And that is such a difficult process for your family and for yourself as well. And I mentioned a little bit at the beginning about these fr free seminars. Is this a place where I can come to get even more information? Absolutely. And that's what we're trying to do is just provide information for our community. This is such an important uh, subject and we are passionate about it. We want to share that information with with others so that they have that information and, and can learn more and know and be an informed consumer, make wise choices. And so that's why we present these seminars, to help provide more information. Because there is so much to talk about. There is so much to think about. Um, I know that sometimes there's even um, tax benefits for creating a trust. Is that right? Sure. There's all sorts of tax benefits. And when we talk about taxes, there's estate death taxes, there's income tax issues, there's um, capital gains issues, and there's ways that you can hold your assets in different ways within within a trust that can provide for some protection and some benefits. 
And I know we have so much to go over, and I know that's why we have these seminars, mm -hmm. and we don't have uh, you know so much time to talk about it here. But I know you guys are going to go over things like power of attorney, uh, long-term care. These are things that people have questions about. Tell you one of the things that we get questioned about so often is about long-term care. That's yeah. a concern that so many of our clients have. How am I going to pay for that? That's something we'll discuss at the seminars and and talk about. There's some options and things if we plan ahead, we can make things easier. Um, help provide for some additional benefits and services to help pay for those kinds of uh, needs when our clients have those needs. Great. Well, I think what we're going to do now is going to give the viewers all the information to, to find out more about the seminars and get in touch with you directly if they are interested in starting that process for their estate plan. But I want to say thank you so much for coming on and, and discussing it with us and really kind of uh, giving us a clear picture of what we need to do and that it doesn't matter how old we are. <laughs> the, the time is now. Thank you so much. Thank you. And again, you are invited to the free seminars to learn about the benefits of estate planning. The times and locations are on your screen now. And for more details, call 529-4000 or visit www.kharizona.com.